Zack Snyder announced officially that his cut of Justice League is going to be released on HBO Max in 2021. Adam, do you know what the Snyder cut is? It is the... Don't look at my notes. <laughs> well, we discussed it earlier today, in case you forgot. And it's, While we were running, that's which true. we often do. We've been getting very fit that's right. during these uh, times. <laughs> so, Zack Snyder originally made like 90 percent of justice league right it was per, it was ready for people to watch it if they wanted to. Zack snyder was making justice league yeah and after the negative reaction to batman v superman wb wanted a lighter tone for justice league so they took Zack snyder's movie which at the time was coming in around three and a half hours long Whoa. shortened it to two hours did a bunch of reshoots those reshoots were directed by Joss Whedon, who took over for Zack Snyder. He had to leave the film after a family tragedy. This resulted in a release the Snyder Cut movement. Fans put their money together to buy billboards. They bought a Times Square ad. They flew a banner over Comic-Con saying, we want to see that three and a half hour darker Snyder Cut of the Justice League. Now, this movement became controversial. A lot of the people, some of the people involved took on some troll-like behavior. But on the other side of it, there were weird misinformation campaigns going on. Zack Snyder maintained the Snyder Cut does exist. There is a watchable 3.5 hour version of this movie. Other insiders were saying there is no Snyder Cut. The movie was only half finished when he was working on it. It would cost millions to make it watchable. So over a year or two of this back and forth, the truth has finally come out. There does exist a Snyder Cut. It is going to cost, at least according to The Hollywood Reporter, somewhere in the range of 20 to $30 million dollars to finish the movie and make it something ready for general audiences to see. Now, what do we actually know about the Snyder Cut? According to Zack Snyder himself, if you watched Justice League, you've only seen about 20 25% of his work. There are some specific plot, plot details. If we want to jump into browser mode, this is SnyderCut.com, a website that brought a lot of the fans together for this movement. So a few things here. Jason Momoa says it is a totally different movie. Snyder revealed his version is 214 minutes long. And maybe one of the biggest pieces of information, multiple characters were cut by Whedon, including Darkseed. You can think of Darkseed as sort of the Thanos of the DC universe. And supposedly Darkseed was going to show up towards the end of the movie and set up future Justice League films that at this point we're unlikely to see. One more thing, how is this movie actually going to be released? It's unclear at this point. They're going to bring a lot of the crew back to finish it up. They might even bring some of the cast back to add some additional dialogue. And it might be a four-hour movie, or it might be released in chapters as a sort of miniseries. So a lot to take in there. But first thing I'll say is I was pretty shocked by this. I will, I've started to get used to the idea that the Snyder Cut might exist, but this is pretty unprecedented. You've seen things like Blade Runner, where years later you get different cuts, but to have such a different version of the movie released only a couple years after the original aired in theaters is pretty unheard of. Adam or Alun, any reactions to this? Any thoughts? I think I might be the only one here who actually saw Justice League, <laughs> but at least the concept. I saw it on a plane, but I'm pretty sure I fell asleep. <laughs> uh, well, I like the precedent that it sets because I, I don't think people should feel tied to any one story that was told uh, and think, well, we already made it and now we can't show people an, a different vision. I like, the, I like knowing that, the, oh, there's a director's cut for this movie or there's an alternate ending to this. I say the more the merrier. I agree with you, especially around this. This There's always been this fear of we don't want to confuse audiences. So we made Amazing Spider-Man 2. People weren't a big fan of it. And nowadays they can say, you know what? Let's just try again. Let's reboot it. And here with Justice League, people didn't like the version they saw. We've got this other version here. Let's show it to them. Now, it wasn't hard. It, it wasn't easy. The fans had to... 
like we said, buy a Times Square ad. They had to show that they were really serious about it, push for it, and eventually WB heard them. Now, will the movie be good? So a couple of thoughts here. On the one hand, I was not really a fan of Batman versus Superman. I liked that they were trying something different. They didn't go the obvious comic book route. They tried to go for this crazy gothic dark tone, but ultimately it disappointed it for me anyway, and I assume that Justice League will follow a similar tone. Support Gaming 2020 in the chat. Hello, Support Gaming 2020. He says, DC is dead. I might have agreed with you a couple of years ago, but Joker made what, like a billion dollars? And that's an R-rated movie. So to make that much movie, that much money with an <laughs> R-rated film is pretty impressive. So I'll say DC's on the ropes. I don't think they're dead yet. I wouldn't count them out. So, like I said, wasn't a big fan of Batman versus Superman. I assume Justice League is going to be pretty similar, so I don't have high hopes for it, but I am very curious about it. I'm very curious to see what this movie looks like, and I'm very supportive of a filmmaker getting to see their vision through. Zack Snyder had a version of this movie he wanted to tell, and I'm happy that he's going to be able to get it out there. I also wonder what happens if people love this version of Justice League? Is it possible that they'll take the DC universe and pivot? They've sort of made Zack Snyder's version of Justice League non-canonical. Could they potentially move back towards his vision if the movie's received well? Support well and I sorry, I, I well, think ahead. that's the kind of like creative freedom that I want to see these these like uh companies allowing themselves right the the freedom to pivot when they see oh people like this thing that we weren't even originally planning to release right e even going so far as ben affleck is out as batman now we've got robert pattinson coming in if people like this iteration of justice league bring ben affleck back let's have pattinson and affleck running around in comic books, you can have multiple iterations of Batman being published at the same time with different artists, which to me in the comic book world is similar to having different actors because they look a little bit different. So I don't know that it's I'll say this. It's not there's no chance we'll see multiple versions of Batman running around, but that's in the ballpark of the kind of creative freedom I would like to see filmmakers have support gaming 2020 says, what about Suicide Squad? And uh, yeah, Suicide Squad was not a good movie. It was pretty <laughs> terrible. But I think James Gunn's Suicide Squad reboot could be pretty good. Suicide Squad is one of the reasons why I say DC's on the ropes. They had a few clunkers, but then Wonder Woman was pretty good. I didn't see Aquaman. It was received pretty well, though, by general audiences. And then you had Joker. So they had a few bad movies, a couple of good ones. I'm hoping that they can turn things around. Adam, do you think DC is going to turn things around? Nah. Uh, to me, like, <laughs> I don't know too much about how Joker got made, but I'm guessing it wasn't by the people who were making you know, Suicide Squad and Justice League. I feel like uh, it was sort of a fluke. I tend to be overly optimistic. So coming mm -hmm. from the guy who a day or two ago said, Tenet's going to release on July 17th. I believe in it. You know, I think DC might turn things around. I feel like they are moving in a direction of giving creators more freedom. I think that's what the Joker taught them, but we'll see. Wasn't uh, Shazam actually received pretty well as well? That's right. People people enjoyed Shazam. Not a, it probably isn't my cup of tea. I haven't seen it, but I think they're 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 coming back. So maybe they're doing well with the comedy, the comedies, and the uh, I guess smaller focus films like joker right it right. seems like when they're trying to do the big action movies people tune out a little bit yeah the big justice league crossovers and all of that well, yeah which is kind of pretty bad because that's <laughs> what they're all about <laughs> yeah that's right well any other thoughts on Zack snyder's justice league cut well not to be pessimistic but also <laughs> i i haven't really seen a good Zack snyder movie either so <laughs> well since 2004's dawn of the dead Okay. His uh, Dawn of the Dead remake. And I yeah, was anyone actually... Anyone can make a good Dawn of the Dead movie. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually a fan of Man of Steel. Didn't I didn't love it, it so. but I thought it was pretty good. 